What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon opening. We are doing some more Hidden Fates. Uh, a couple of people have asked, like, you know, are you tired of opening Hidden Fates? You know, Cosmic Clips is newer. And to be honest, the answer is like, no, I actually really still enjoy Hidden Fates. They have great pull rates and lots of shinies to collect. As far as Cosmic Eclipse goes, maybe it's ironic because we have better, I feel like we have very good pull rates in that. And then as far as like a deck building perspective, you know, I feel like I actually have most of the cards I need. And from the collector side, um, yeah, beyond finishing that the character rares, I don't feel like there's anything that's really worth chasing as far as a collectors go. However, Hidden Fates, you know, there's plenty of cards. Uh, obviously, we want more of those uh, shiny Charizards. We already pulled one and we managed to pick up another copy as well. So we're going for shiny Charizard number three. In our last Hidden Fates opening, Zorark really came through for us and gave us some really great results. So we're doubling up this time. We got not one, but two Zorark boxes. Uh, we'll see if it cannot come through for us again. All right, 20 packs to open. I'm going to get into these boxes. Let's do it. All right, here we go again. We got two Zorark GX Shinies. Oh, one of my lamps broke. So my lightning is not as good as it typically is. Hopefully this video does come out okay. Here's a couple code cards. I believe Zorark Control is still a thing in Expanded. So maybe you can snag that. You can put together a nice Expand deck. I personally don't play Expanded. But all right, let's get into our first pack. Hidden Fate, still just so fun to open. You know, I feel like it's a... Uh, this set will go down in history as one of the best sets, one of the best modern sets. And uh, yeah, that's why I can't stop opening it. Let's go. Even though I really love Cosmic Eclipse, especially when it comes to how it affects the meta or how it didn't affect the meta actually. Um, yeah, you know, I just wasn't really enjoying or I wasn't that enticed to do more openings and I felt that, you know, if I'm not really into the content that I'm creating, the content won't be that good, but uh, Hidden Fate still has that, <laughs> you know, that wow factor for me. So we're going to keep doing this and hopefully it does for you guys as well. And if you have not still been struggling to pick up Hidden Fates, I think basically at your local Walmart, Target, LGS, um, you'll, it'll start to be more readily available. Especially when Cosmic Eclipse has finally dropped, you know, it'll kind of uh, take some of that demand away. And it should be very easy to pick up now. Um, now so more than ever, no one should ever pay above MSRP for Hidden Fates. Um, at this point, like a Target is more often not has them for $40 for the $50 product. So, in fact, you should be paying less than it was at release. Okay, first two packs were real duds. So, <laughs> maybe these are not the Zorogs we were looking for. But let's start looking at some of the cards. We got Sabrina, Nurse Joy, Scyther, Charmander, a Slowpoke, Psyduck. Pikachu, Magikarp, a Snorlax is our rare, and then Misty's Determination. Oh boy, this is a very rough start. We have a long way to go. As always, we're looking for a total of at least 10 hits to call this a successful opening. Obviously, not all hits are equal, so it's very subject, but uh, I'm always aiming for that 50% or more hit percentage. Alright, let's start picking it up. We got a Metapod. Nurse Joy again, Scyther, Pikachu, Charmander, Voltorb, Coughing, Ekans, Mew, and then a Jolteon. Oh my. It's almost starting to feel curse like. So, Sword and Shield is out, and we are loving it. Uh, we will be doing streams uh, for. You know, we're going to keep to our regular schedule at least Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and other ones as we can. So definitely join us. We stream on Twitch and YouTube. Links all down below. And it's going to be interesting. We're going to play it by ear as far as uh, how we split be our time between Sword and Shield and PTCGO. Okay, this is going terribly. We are already halfway through. <laughs> Unless all the hits are in these packs, like we are not going to come close to that ratio we are looking for. Although the X Factor is the double whammy pack, so we're, we might need a couple of those. 
All right, still 0 for 5 so far. Oh my. Magmar, Charmeleon. Maybe I need to go back to Cosmic Eclipse, actually. <laughs> Despite what I thought. Cubone, Geodude, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Vaporeon. Always get one of the Okay, we got our first shiny. And it, I love this shiny. Alolan Vulpix. The shiny doesn't change that much, but... Vulpix is definitely my favorite Alolan, and this card is actually pretty useful. I think this is still standard, uh, but Beacon, just a pretty good ability to get two cards, and you don't even need an energy. And I'm not sure why I perfect fitted that. So usually we just put it, throw it into a regular sleeve, but uh, it's, it's Alolan Vulpix. It's all good. All right, we finally got a first hit. We still need hits in every single one of these last four packs for the first box. As always, guys, if you do want to support the channel, the ways to do so are increasing uh, now that we've been doing a lot of streaming. So, as always, hitting the like button and subscribing is the easiest way. Yeah, you can slap that bell for notifications as well. Other than that, we have the Discord, the Instagram. Although, often I'm pretty bad about posting on Instagram. We got a three quarter, three eighths hitter, fairy energy. You can catch us on stream again uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday evenings. Usually we start about 7 p.m. EST. And uh, yeah, if you probably like the most appreciative way to support us is to subscribe to us on Twitch. It's very easy, especially if you have Amazon Prime. You get a free sub every month. And uh, that was, you know, the reverse energy is not nothing, but we don't even consider that a full hit. So we are super behind. This might be the worst ultra or great slash ultra ball collection box we've ever had. Come on. Oh my gosh. Down to two packs. All we have is a Alolan Vulpix shiny to show for it. All right. We need that X Factor double whammy pack right here if we want to even stand a chance to make this a successful opening. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm damaging the cards. All right, maybe I, maybe that lamp made a big difference. All right, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Pikachu, Mew, and then Butterfree. Okay, definitely the worst box we've ever had, but let's at least get something good. suppose the real X factor is that one hit wonder that if you get that's the only card you get in the box it still is worth it can we do it not a good state of affairs when that's what we're relying on Voltorb coughing Ekans Cubone Magikarp a wheezing and wow we pull so many Magnemites <laughs> as far as like dupes go it's like yeah, no, I'm still missing this one, still missing this one. And then we have a stack of Magnemites. Same thing with Curly, actually. All right, I'm just going to clean up some piles real quick. Be right back. All right, let's put that fiasco behind us. And uh, let's kill it with this box. We really need to. Otherwise, this will be a terrible opening. All right, fighting energy. Sabrina's Suggestion, Metapod, Nurse Joy, Ekans, Geodude, Cubone, Eevee, Clefairy, We Oh man, these packs are starting to look very familiar. Eevee Reverse. Maybe this is uh, RNG's God's way of telling me that it's time to move on from Hidden <laughs> Fates. Oh man, this is rough. Chansey, Brock's Gym, Giovanni, Staryu, Ekans, Eevee, Pikachu, Clefairy, Butterfree, Ugly Fable. What is happening? Come on. We gotta things gotta turn up soon, right? Brock's Gym, Metapod, Giovanni, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans, 
Caterpie. Paris. Butterfree again. Chancy. Alright, let's just take a quick breather. We need to regroup a little bit. Reset mentally. Alright, let's do better, guys. We, we need another lamp. <laughs> We're getting another lamp for our, for our opening station ASAP. Never heard of that superstition where you, when you have bad lighting, you have bad pulls. Farfetched. Brock. Misty's Jim. Pikachu. Clefairy. Cubone. Jigglypuff. Eevee. Lapras. Ugh. Side note, at this point there's no Magikarp. Magikarp Gyarados would have been perfect for this set. Such an iconic shiny. The OG shiny. I know it wasn't in ultra shiny but actually yeah why wasn't it an ultra shiny <laughs> maybe that's the we can leave it at that koga's trap lt surge misty jigglypuff caterpie paris psyduck charmander misty's water command oh boy misty you are not doing it for us all right we are we are halfway through our second box and once again Halfway through the box, no pulls. In the beginning, I'm talking about a 50% hit rate. We are like 20% hit rate for the first box, and the second one is starting off just as poorly. Farfetched, Brock's Gym, Chansey, Pikachu, Magikarp. We're going, we're going to speed up. Come on, where's our hits? Cleef Fable. Psyduck. Oh my gosh, this is me right now. What is happening? Alright, a lot of times people tell me in the comments like what their favorite pull is. I feel like this time I just need some like, uh, you know, F for respect. <laughs> Alright, Ekans, Geodude, Cubone, Clefairy, alright, Mewtwo, ah, uh, it's, uh, it's not a double, that's not a double whammy, it's, it's as close as we're gonna get, maybe, and, uh, this is the second best GX you can get, first one obviously being Charizard, the actual useful one, alright, we got our first hit, those two combined is like, Maybe worth the Magnemite that we pull a billion of. <laughs> oh man, this is rough. Sorry for my lack of enthusiasm, but uh, I feel cursed again. Actually, at least then we're pulling like gold cards. Koga, LT Surge, Chansey, Voltorb, Coughing, Cubone, a Geodude, Jigglypuff, Electrode is the rare. Ooh! Actually, I think we this might be our first Electrode Shiny. Alright. Things are finally beginning to look up. We are only have two packs left, so it is most definitely too late. But we will take anything at this point. We at least did not get shut out as far as Shiny GXs go. And this is a pretty good one. Not a lot of like different colors, but that's okay. Just like the um, you know, when they kind of have uniform coloring, I actually like that. Oricorio Full Art comes to mind. It's just like purple background, purple Pokemon. Still works. Alright guys, two packs remaining for this abysmal opening. Ah, I feel very deflated. <laughs> Alright, Metal Energy, Misty, Brock's Gym, Giovanni. Charmander, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Pikachu, Butterfree. Whew. All right, last pack. You know, every once in a while you get an amazing box. And I guess, you know, if, if pull rate's about 50% and someone somewhere, or maybe ourselves, gets an amazing box, that is only possible because someone else has a super dud box so far. So it seems like today... We got the Mega Dud Box. Worst I've ever seen. 
So we'll take the hit for the team. <laughs> RNG owes us one big time. Misty's Gym, Magikarp, Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu. All right, we need a home run right here. Lapras. Ah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the continued support, especially through rough times like this. We have... Oh, it's not nothing, but... Oh, man, that was terrible. <laughs> thanks for watching. I'm Wanted Turtle. I need time to recover. I'll catch you guys next time.